Often the pull of going out and drinking with friends can overshadow the consequences of being caught with a fake ID. Students flood the bars and buy drinks week after week. The only problem is, not all of them are old enough to legally purchase alcohol. It's worth going now because then you can make new friends, um, have a good time. Otherwise you'll be stuck in your dorm for six months till I turn 19 and that's not much fun. Bartenders and doormen on campus all go through special training in order to serve alcohol. Part of this training includes a course on spotting a fake ID. Bartender at Fire Station David Mitov knows all the signs when a student may be using a fake ID. Absolutely, yeah. You can look, they'll kind of start fidgeting a little bit. You know, they might look back at their friend if they're here with somebody. Um, just an off, an off kind of deal because people that come to bars late at night, they act a certain way usually. The Alcohol Enforcement Unit of the Champaign Police Department have confiscated their fair share of fake IDs. By using a black light and other tools, they show bar employees what to look for on someone's ID. Bags like these are filled with fake IDs. As you can see, fake IDs are big business for the Champaign Police Department. I can pick up these two IDs right here and immediately tell you which one is real and which one's fake. Here's your fake ID. Sergeant Scott Friedline knows all too well what can happen when someone uses a fake. Is it really that important that you spend $200 or whatever you're spending for a fake ID and you're putting so much at risk because you're going to ruin an entire college career? It takes one, one time for us to have contact for that to potentially happen. Being caught with a fake or borrowed ID can range from a misdemeanor to a Class 4 felony. In Champaign, Mike Dalton, UI7 News.